Hey guys, and welcome back to Snake Pass as we enter Cinder's realm with the flip flop boundary. And uh, you guys, it took me seven parts to realize that the names of the realms are puns. So the first realm was Baldur's realm, so Baldur's realm. Then Soggy is soggy, you know, like damp. If something is soggy, it's like wet. So Soggy's realm, and now we're in Cinder's realm. Because I was like, huh, Cinder kind of is like, it's like Cinder. Like a cinder out of a flame, and then I got soggy, and now I'm feeling kind of dumb. I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling kind of dumb. Anyway, we're into the new realm, and you can see there's a cool new, like, kind of ominous feel to the realms. It's gotten very dark, uh, which is really cool. I'm just having a quick look up here to make sure there's no coins or collectibles that I might have missed, because um, going back for them is a pain. But yeah, we've got a very kind of dark feel to the game now, which I feel like is gonna make things harder to spot because you know, you know, you can't see as far just because of how. Uh, Kind of creepy and dark they've made it. Anyway, let's have a quick look. What we got here? A switch. So switches are way easier if you, as you wrap around them if you use the grip button. Uh, so if you grip and... I'm turning it the wrong way, aren't I? Let's go the other way. But yeah, if you go around them and grip, you can see that you get a much better turn. Which is really nice. And you can kind of like grip and then ungrip and then grip and then ungrip. But that's what we've done here in order to make the bridge. Right, just having a quick look. I really don't want to miss any coins, because spending spending the rest of the, the time like running around trying to find them is a little stressful. Okay, we're back at the gate, so this is where we need to take our fragments to our gate stones. Is that a grave? Oh no, it's a switch. For a second I thought it was a tombstone. I was like, aha, a tombstone. Oh. Oh. Why didn't I just pick up the orb before I pulled the switch? You guys. Guys, why do we must why must we make our life, you know, this much more difficult? We're gonna go along this edge to begin with, I think. There's like some kind of pipe thing going on here. I'm gonna have a little bit of a look at. I don't know what this is. What is this? Maybe this is something that we raise later on, actually, now that I think about it. I'm thinking maybe we come back here later on. Well, I guess they don't call it Cinder's Realm for no reason. Okay, up we go. It's gonna be fine, you guys. I have- Ow! 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 I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Oh, 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 oh. It, it, yeah. <laughs> okay. It doesn't really matter that I'm on fire, but how on earth do I get that orb now? This is what I want to know. I guess I go onto that one. Once we get onto that one, we can maybe, like, dangle across. Oh, oh, come on, come on. There we go. But we can maybe, what we can do is, you know, poke out our head, basically. Come on. That'll do. It doesn't matter that we're on fire. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh my gosh. Right, we, we got the orb, which is all that matters. Guys, tip. Get that orb before you pull the switch. Am I in? Oh, I'm on fire again. Come on, noodle. Sort your life out. No one likes burn noodles. Scare the bug. Rawr. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just working out what the best kind of route to take is as we explore this kind of area. There's no kind of, it's not very linear this level, so you know that's something to be aware of, I guess. I guess we'll twist this one for now. Uh this way I think it was. Does it twist this way? No, other way. Oh my god, we're gonna get this wrong every single time. It's weird because it's going, we're twisting it clockwise, which is righty tighty. So I thought it was going to be lefty loosey. We'll bring this thing up. Which is what we expected to happen here, to be honest. So that's that section brought up. We're going to grab these orbs over here first and have a little look around. Keeping our eyes peeled for our shiny golden coins. It's always good. Okay, so up here we come. We'll grab the orb over to this side. Grab this orb. I don't think there's anything else up here by the looks of things, at least on this structure. Not that I can see anyway. Do you guys not think this game has fantastic music? The music in this game, ooh, what's this? The music in this game is super, super good. Well, we found some shinies at any rate. So with these ones sticking out, just make sure you're kind of wrapped around something and then you can kind of just stick your head out. As long as you've got the grip, you know, just stick your head out and then bring it back in is a, a very easy way to get collectibles if you're, you know, struggling a little bit. Oh, I thought we'd find a coin in here. 
But yeah, the music is good. It has a very Donkey Kong Country feel, but I think one of the composers was from the Donkey Kong team, Donkey Kong Country Returns or something along those lines. And uh, I think actually it's one of the more important features, you know, because you don't really have voice acting and there's not much of a story. You know, gameplay and music are, and, and art style, are really important, but it seems like they've kind of got this down, to be honest. Ooh. Which is neat. Okay. All right, well, we got that. Still no coins, though. It's gonna frustrate me. All right, round we go. Let go. And across. Okay, so we've made it this far at any rate. There's a coin. It's one right there, just chilling. Oh. Why does it always have to be on some kind of crazy spinning structure? Like, look at that. Oh, right, we're gonna we're gonna have to do our best, you guys. We'll get that one. And then we're gonna gonna YOLO mode it out here for the coin. Bear in mind we haven't seen a checkpoint in a while. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, this this orb this this rope thing spins. So this thing down here is, is currently spinning. We'll get a grip on it though. Okay. Whoop. Bring our head up and and round. Okay, we're going around this way now. But basically what we want to do is make sure we have a fairly consistent... Oh, no, go, 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 no! Tits. Okay, this game definitely got harder, you guys, right? It's time for take two. I'm thinking we should maybe go round it in the same direction that it's spinning. Will that make my life easier? I don't know. Well, maybe get onto land first, and then we'll, we'll kind of take it slow and steady. Because we have to go out and then come back is the kind of stressful thing. I feel like that's always the stressful thing in these games. Let's make sure we have a good sneaky grip going on here. Yep. Okay, that's good. Now we have to come down this pole, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's maybe easier to go up the pole. So like round it like this, so that we're nice and, you know, safely wrapped round. Yep, like so. And then onto this section here as we come around to get the coin. Oh god, where am I? Wrapping myself around this pole whilst also, you know, it's rotating is very, very, very stressful. We're gonna get it here? No, we need to move further along the pole. I obviously don't want to fall is the thing. Like, now that I'm out this far, we want to make sure we stay, you know, nice and secure. Oh god, why, why, why noodle? Uh, okay, we can wrap ourselves around here. And then around this corner, basically. Once we're kind of, once you're wrapped, it's not so bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe we made it back that quickly. Whew! That was stressful, right? Well, I think this section, at any rate, is done. So we can head back towards where we hand in the uh, the keystone, whatever they're called, lodestone. This is where I accidentally fall off the edge whilst like just crossing this platform, for example, or I land in the cinders. We don't want to do that. I think we can go down this way. It's totally fine. It's totally fine, you guys. Oh my gosh. Right, let's hit that checkpoint as quickly as we can. Come on. Checkpoint, please. Right, that's one done. One coin down. One section down. I don't think I missed anything in that section. So that is at least something. Oh my god, that was a nasty coin structure. The thing is, like, we're on level, what, eight, I think? I think there's a total of 15 levels. So, you know, we're, we're basically, like, halfway. And it's only going to get more difficult. Right, I'm going to get this orb before I pull this switch. Like, if this game has taught me nothing, it's that you should pick up orbs. Or at least this level has taught me nothing. It's pick up orbs that are, you know, easily obtainable before you start pulling switches. Hey, look at that. Right, get this switch. What does it do? Okay, it's folded that section out. So now we can head across there, which is nice. Um, anything to spot? Anything to keep an eye out for? Coins and at all? I don't see any. We'll grab this orb up here while we're on this section. Um, I think that's a good plan. I don't know how to cross this spike section. I'm guessing that'll, like, become apparent later once we, you know, pull another switch or something. Because obviously we're gonna have to go there to get the green orb. Or maybe we come round to there and then cross the spike section afterwards. I like I'm almost falling off the level whilst exploring. Okay. So we can go across here now. Come on, Noodle. Do your thing. Just keeping my eye out for any coins or any orbs. There's one down there. 
Hmm, is that going to be hard to get? I don't know. I, I feel like at this point, you know, we can go across. Is there a checkpoint on the side? Yeah, we'll go across and get the checkpoint. And then once we've made it across and gotten the checkpoint, what we'll do is, uh, whoops, what we'll do is we'll come back for that orb. Because it's much easier to go for these kind of things when you know that if you fall, you're not going to have to go miles and miles back in order to get it. Although saying that, I feel like this isn't that difficult of a section. Like, it's not spinning or anything. So we definitely could just grab it. There we go. Uh, I'll bring my head around this side, I think. There we go. And then up we come. I said up we... Nope, apparently not. It's going to say up we come. Whoop, up we come, but we just get a grip and then... The problem is, like, controlling him while he's while he's uh, going up is a little tricky because I want him to be on, you know, a side where I can see what I'm doing. But he's he's intent on being on that side. No, don't, don't unwind yourself. Right, round we go. No, round, round, round. There we go. And now, up maybe? It's, it's not going to happen. Okay, it is going to happen. We can just jump from here. Like so. And uh, there you go. We didn't even need the checkpoint. Okay, what we got now? A lot of lava. Oh, my favorite. Lava. Oh, there's a coin right there. Look at him. Just kind of chilling. I don't know what this is doing. Am I twisting it the wrong way? No, I, whatever I've done, I've, I've, I've caused it to happen. Oh, I guess this thing turns and we can go to different sections. There's also a coin up there you can see. So we'll turn it once more so that it's facing, so that we can get onto that section, I think. That's an interesting kind of mechanic. There we go. There's also an orb down there. Okay, right. Let's get this coin up here first and foremost. Oh gosh, this is a very spindly ledge. Is there an easier way to do this? Mmm, doesn't look like it. Oh well. How do I get back? Noodle, stop trying to wiggle. Nope, 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 nope. Like, I don't understand how I'm gonna get across and then make it back is the problem. For this coin. Unless we can maybe go right the way around. Can we go up this way? Yeah, we can, okay. Oh, my head is stuck. I can't see where I'm going. I, I guys, I think I'm stuck. Like, I legitimately think I've, I've broken Noodle at this point. Because I can't go backwards. <laughs> what have I done? Oof, after a far too much wiggling, I actually managed to make it out somehow. So yeah, don't go that way, you guys. Although saying that, now that I've gone that way, getting that coin was a hell of a lot easier. Hey, look at that. Uh, I'm going to get a checkpoint just in case I fall, because I do not want to have to try and get that coin again. Plus, the checkpoint is just here, so it's, you know, it's not a challenging checkpoint to get, but we're going to clamber down here. You know, I'm not too worried about climbing down this section, because honestly, it's, it's not moving. And uh, there we go. Because it's not moving... The sections t typically are a little bit easier to just climb down and then go back up. All right, we've done that one. So now onto this structure, whatever it may be. Whoa. And we'll climb up. Right, there we go. Hmm. I think I can probably get this coin. Oh, sorry, this orb. If we just wrap around here. Oh wait, I'm I'm falling. One Whoa. second. Let's try again. If we can get a good wrap around that that this section here. I think what we can do is just stick our head out, basically. There we go. And then we just bring it back in. Or or we could fall to our death. I'm not technically dead. Um, hmm. Can I get back up from this? I'm going to have to go around this, this, this square thing a bit until my tail gets onto it. Stop panicking, Noodle. There we go, because once we're wrapped around, we've got a little bit of grip. So then we can potentially climb up. Pot 
potentially climb up. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I've gotten myself into so many sticky situations uh, so far in this episode. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. It's been, it's been very stressful. Hey, we made it across here. So I guess we can then rotate the thing, you know, more should we wish to, basically, to make it to the other sections, right? We'll climb up this thing and get these coins. Can I climb up here? Maybe I have to go around the back. Looks like we might have to go around the back. Let's go around the back. Yeah, that, that looks like where we probably have to go from. Down we come. And then we'll bring it around. Okay. You're okay. Don't worry. We're good. You're Gucci. You're Gucci. And then up. Going up is easy. Well, going up like sections like that. Going up these like longer sections is a little tricky because you can kind of mess up your curl like that. Because here, like obviously I want to just keep going up, but it can be a little tricky. But nah, it's all good. It's all good. We made it up here. Okay. I don't see any blue orbs kicking about. I'm just going to grab this checkpoint. Uh, and then we'll rotate the structure and try and, and try and come across this way. But it looks like we've gotten all of the stuff in this little corner section anyway. Albeit with a few uh, few slight hiccups. So let's rotate. I feel like it requires way too much turning of this thing to rotate that thing. Which is kind of annoying. We'll do one more. Come on, you can do it. There we go. But yeah, like the amount of times I need to turn this is kind of awkward. Also, it probably would have been easier to get that square thing by just climbing on it now. Sorry, not that square thing. The, the last or blue orb I got, I feel like would have been much easier to get. Uh, like, had I had I just waited till we had it in this position. Because the orbs don't rotate. It's the structure that rotates, right? Oh, well, you should let go of my tail, please. So yeah, that was kind of a silly thing to do. Now that I think about it. Hey, we made it. Oh my gosh, right. Well, that was... At least I didn't have to climb another structure to get the to get, then get the keystone. We'll grab this piece. Having a quick look around, make sure there's no blue orbs, there's no coins. I don't think there are. I mean, you know, we, we've gotten two coins in this section already. Oh, so I think we're good. Checkpoint. Okay, where on earth are we? I don't know. Let's climb whatever this thing is. Aha, switch. Okay, I can I can deal with switches. I don't know what it's going to do, but I can definitely deal with switches. Come on. Up you go, Noodle. He's not feeling that. Okay, we'll go around this way. There we go. Uh, I need to twist it clockwise, I think, was the, was the way to go. Well, I would if I could actually... Oh, no, it's going the other way. Which way is it going? This way. Okay. See, this one's anti-clockwise. There's no consistency in the direction I have to turn these, these blasted things. What is this going to do? It's dropped a boulder onto there, which goes onto there, into the switch, which brings this down. Oh my god. Complicated system. Well, I can see where there's a coin, so that's good, I guess. At least we know where to find a coin. And um, we've got an orb here, so we'll grab this. So we only need to find one more coin, like at least the location of one more coin. We need to collect two, but find one. Oh, when did this game get so difficult? Oh, there's only a blue thing up there. I thought we were meant to climb this, but maybe we climb from the other side. Like, in all in all honesty, we could just climb from the other side. That would make sense. So we'll, we'll just do this. And grab this orb. What have we got here? It's kind of hard to see because of the structure, the shape of the structure. We can climb up onto this, which we do want to do to get the orb. So let's do that for now. There we go. That was actually the easiest coin to get so far. The other the other couple have been like really awkward to get. That one, not so challenging. Is there anywhere further up I need to go? No, there's nothing up there that I need to get. So we'll just we'll just continue on with our uh, snaking. 
Just keeping an eye out, for, like I say, for that last coin. It is, because of the atmosphere of the level, it is, they're a little bit trickier to spot than usual. There we go, just letting my coils out there. Basically not using grip so that then, because the coil is out, what I can then do is um, just let the weight, the, the, the kind of weight pull my body down. And then as that pulls the body down, what it does is it, uh, what it does is it uh, will, will hang down to get the, get the objective. So that's one of the techniques you can use in this game. Uh, okay, that's got the spikes rid of, basically. But we still need to find, oh, we've got all the blues, so we just need to find one more coin. I feel like it's going to be in this section because, you know, we, we, we thoroughly explored the last section and, and there wasn't one. So I feel like it has to be in here somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to climb on. You know what? Let's just climb on the rocks. I feel like that's going to make this easier. No, apparently not. Seriously? <laughs> oh, dear. We need to get a good coil going around it. Like so. So we've got a little bit of a base to push off up from. And then there we go. So you, you can get a decent amount of height if you try. But where is this last coin? Ah, oh, there's always an evil bird whenever we get all the gate stones. But yeah, we're missing a coin. So where on earth is it? Is it hanging down from anywhere over here? Maybe in, near the lava? You know, sitting on a structure where... Maybe we have to climb down this. Do we have to climb down this? Doesn't look like we have to climb down this. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to have to go back around everything. I don't see it over here. Right, we'll keep looking. And uh, we'll head back across this structure anyway. Maybe it's maybe it's somewhere near the middle where we haven't checked. Because this is back towards the, uh, the gate. We'll hand in our gate stones anyway, and then we'll continue our hunt for our last remaining coin. So gate stones in, please. There's one. And there's two. Right, so now all we need to do is find our last remaining coin. So I'm gonna go have a look for that and I'll let you know when I go, when I find it. Okay guys, so I went back and explored where I originally expected the coin to be, you know, where we found the green keystone. And basically, this is, oh my god, the least obvious location for a coin to be. Like, holy crap, this took me a while to find. But we, we found it eventually. It, it took a while, but we found it. I mean, it's not a challenging coin to get, in particular. Like, well, can I actually wrap around this, please? There we go. Like, it's not exactly, you know, one of the toughest coins you're going to have in terms of picking it up, but finding it, that was definitely a toughie. The other the other uh, four were much easier to spot, but, you know, much more challenging to find. So that'll wrap up Flip Flop Foundry in Cinder's Realm. That is the end of the level. Um, and yeah, if you liked the episode, you know, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, what you think of the Let's Play and... Uh, my amazing recoveries. I think they were pretty amazing. I mean, you can agree with me for sure. Uh, beyond that, you can see all of our social media on the screen there for the killer bits. If you want to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, everything, basically. And if you want to follow me personally, I'm at Jagaris on Twitter. Um, yeah, so that's Flip Flop Foundry. Next time, we'll be checking out the Toasty Trail level 10 as we continue through Cinder's Realm. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.